We have the New York Giants taking on the Dallas Cowboys at MetLife Stadium in New York. This is your week four 2024 prediction and preview video. Hit subscribe if you're new. Also hit the like button. Let's start off with the home team and the winners from last week, the New York Giants. They got their first win of this season. And it really felt good if you watched this game because it was the Malik Neighbors breakout game. The first round wide receiver went out there. He had two receiving touchdowns and Daniel Jones did have some throws here and there that made you scratch your head. But on the day, Daniel Jones played pretty clean football. In this game against the Dallas Cowboys, you have to to continue that game plan but you have to try to run the football as much as possible the dallas cowboys are a pissed off team their last two losses were at home against the new orleans saints and against the baltimore ravens and how did those teams go out there and defeat the dallas cowboys by running the football the offensive line last week with the new york giants they did play well you have a very good running back in devin singletary you have to get him the football he doesn't have the explosive speed of a saquon barkley but that's okay he has good enough speed to go out there and help out a guy like Daniel Jones. As long as the offensive line can go out there and they can solely take out Michael Parsons, I believe the New York Giants can control the line of scrimmage and they can take a lot of pressure off of Daniel Jones. But he has to be more consistent with his accuracy and get him outside the pocket as well. Last week, Devin Singletary had 16 carries for 65 rushing yards. That's four yards a carry and one rushing touchdown. It, it is to note that he had one run that went for 43 yards. He has to be more consistent there, and the offensive line has to be consistent as well. Pay attention to how Mike Zimmer is going to try to make adjustments at the line of scrimmage to confuse a guy like Daniel Jones, but you have to take away Michael Parsons. Michael Parsons hasn't done much in the last two games. That is their best pass rusher. That's their best defensive player. You take him out the game, you can make this a game if you are the New York Giants, but you have to run the football with Daniel Jones and Devin Singletary and feed Malik Neighbors. It was a lot of passes last week that you're saying, hey, how did Malik Neighbors catch that? But he did. He's a generational wide receiver get him the football also get Darius Slayton the football as well he's questionable to play in this game but he's on pace to play in this game when I look at a guy like Wondell Robinson he had seven catches for 61 receiving yards last week get him involved they had Devin Singletary get involved in the play action game as well and he was able to go out there and get some things in the receiving game he had 43 receiving yards on the day that was the key to victory for them offensively. Play conservative, but run the football last week against the Cleveland Browns. And the Cleveland Browns did have Miles Garrett for majority of the game. He didn't do much. But it comes down to the consistency of Daniel Jones inside the pocket and also just the offensive line being consistent as well. The defense is what really helped the New York Giants get this win last week. They had eight sacks on Deshaun Watson. Now, I don't believe that they're going to go out there and have eight sacks on the Dallas Cowboys, but you have to take the run game away. And also, make Dak Prescott throw the weapons like Brandon Cooks and Jake Ferguson. And Jake Ferguson is a very good tight end, by the way. But CeeDee Lamb is a game wrecker. And so far, that connection with him and Dak Prescott has been up and down. They're starting to get frustrated a little bit. Not to say that there's things going on behind the scenes. They're just frustrated by the last two losses. Take out CeeDee Lamb. And this is the job for Deontay Banks to go out there and do that. He's a first-round pick from last season, and he's a very good cornerback. He has to go out there and be on him in one-on-one -on -one situations. And I do believe that Deontay Banks has potential to give C.D. Lamb a lot of problems. You also have guys in the secondary like Tyler Newbin at the free safety position. Drew Phillips as well. He's questionable to play in this game. But the secondary... They have been consistent as long as that front seven can get to the quarterback. When you have names like Kayvon Thibodeau and you also have Brian Burns as well, do what you did last week. Take that running game away and put that pressure on Dak Prescott. They were blitzing a lot in the first half. They went against doing that in the second half. Put some blitzes on Dak Prescott and turn up the heat. You have the home field advantage. And right now, Giants fans, they're going to be happy to see their team. The last two games, they were very close. They did win last week. They lost against the Washington Commanders, but that was a very close football game. Go out there with that intensity and try to score fast against this Dallas Cowboys defense because they're pissed off right now. Now let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys. Two bad losses in a row at home. But the upside of it is this. You beat the hell out of the Cleveland Browns on the road. And the New York Giants have not defeated the Dallas Cowboys in the last six meetings. The last time the New York Giants defeated the Dallas Cowboys was in 2021. And the New York Giants won that game 23-19. to And they won that game at home. 
You have to get the run game going. With Rico, Ezekiel Elliott, or Deuce Vaughn, they have not been able to run the football consistently. Look at what happened in week one against the Cleveland Browns. When the Dallas Cowboys was able to run the football, it put pressure off of Dak Prescott. He should not have over 50 pass attempts in this game. Last week, they were trying to get Dak Prescott to get them back into the game. And it almost worked. But you did not start off hot. You started off too slow. You have to go out there, try to control the line of scrimmage with the pieces you have. You don't want Dak Prescott to get into a situation to where he's trying to play from behind. Then the run game doesn't even matter at that point. Dak Prescott on the day was 28 of 51 for 379 passing yards, two passing touchdowns. Dak Prescott was not the reason why they lost his football game last week. The reason why they lost this game, they could not run the football and they could not stop the run. The offensive line has to get a push up front and Mike McCarthy has to go out there and be patient with this run game with Ezekiel Elliott and with Rico as well. Ezekiel Elliott is not the same running back that he was four to five years ago. We all understand that, but Rico has that juice. Do some outside zone plays with him. Do some inside rushing plays with Ezekiel Elliott. And if it doesn't work early in the game, continue to do it. You can lean on Dak Prescott. He is your franchise quarterback. You made him the highest paid quarterback in the NFL for a reason, but you have to get the guys around him to play better, especially up front. CeeDee Lamb is a true number one wide receiver. He has been good in the last three games, but Brandon Cooks has to step up. And we saw some of this last season as well. He didn't really get going until they went against the Los Angeles Rams. And at that time, he had two receiving touchdowns in that game. Brandon Cooks has to be better and he has to be more consistent moving forward. Jake Ferguson did miss some time after that Cleveland Browns injury. Guess what happened last week? He had six catches for 95 receiving yards. Continued to feed that beast. When you look at Brandon Cooks, he had two catches for 16 receiving yards. So you have Jake Ferguson who's going to go out there. You have CeeDee Lamb as well. Kayvon Turpin had a receiving touchdown and 51 receiving yards last week. That is fine. As long as you're getting receiving production outside of CeeDee Lamb and Jake Ferguson, have guys like Kayvon Turpin, go, Kevante Turpin, go out there. Have him go do his thing. He's a very good return man. He's very good with yards after the catch. You have Jalen Tolbert as well who had a receiving touchdown and 42 receiving yards. But at the end of the day, Dak Prescott should not have 51 pass attempts on the day. And that's the same with the New York Giants as well. Lean on the run game and work off a of play action for both teams. As far as the defense for the Dallas Cowboys, they have to play better. Go out there, take away Malik Neighbors. This is a Trevon Diggs game. Trevon Diggs has been the best cornerback with the Dallas Cowboys when he's been 100% healthy. They're missing Deron Bland. He's expected to come back in the next month or so as he's recovering from that foot injury. But Trevon Diggs has to go out there and he has to have one of his better games against Malik Neighbors. I can't stress this enough. That kid is a generational talent. And the same with C.D. Lamb as well. These cornerbacks, they better be on the on their A game in this game. But take away Malik Neighbors and make guys like Darius Slayton and Theo Jackson go out there and beat you. The wide receivers with the New York Giants, they're solid. But when you take away Malik Neighbors, they're not one of the best receiving cores in the NFL. And put that pressure on Daniel Jones. Michael Parsons hasn't done much in the last two games. And he's a top defensive player in the NFL. He has to go out there and walk away with a sack or two. Put that pressure on him. Demarcus Lawrence is questionable to play in this game, and that's fine. As long as you go out there, control the line of scrimmage, stop the run, and make Daniel Jones beat you. Look at what has happened in the past when the Dallas Cowboys have played that fast-paced defense against the New York Giants. It worked into their favor. Play press man coverage, put bracket coverage on Monday, on Malik Neighbors, and the front seven has to go out there and do their jobs and put a lot of pressure on Daniel Jones. I also look at a guy like Eric Kendricks, had a phenomenal week one outing against the Cleveland Browns. Hasn't done much since then. He needs to be better. Demond Clark as well and Mozzie Smith, they need to step up and stop the run. This is an arch nemesis of theirs in this division. So far, they have owned the New York Giants over the last couple of matchups, continue to play physical, and continue to play fast. With that being said, I do have the Dallas Cowboys winning this game. I think they bounced back in a good way. I have the Dallas Cowboys winning this game 28-17. to But let me know in the comment section below, who do you have winning this game? The Dallas Cowboys or the New York Giants? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, when each and every last one of you guys stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. God bless. Peace.